Hi, it's Carrie, and today I have a question for you. Do you have a plan B? If you do, you need to delete your plan B, and I'm going to tell you why. You know, today I was reminded of this um, in a Facebook conversation with a girl. Um, I haven't talked to her very often on Facebook, but she asked me just randomly if I was in MLM, and, and I said, you know, not exactly, that's not exactly what my business does, and she's like, oh, it's so good to connect with you, and told her about my business, and I asked her what she did, and she responded by sending me a link, which is very common, you know, people that haven't been taught marketing skills like a lot of us in Empower Network like to send links out in Facebook messages, but that's getting a little bit off the point also. Um, what I want to talk to you about is what she said after I told her the company that I was with. She was just like, wow, I'm so gr glad you know that I met you because if this doesn't work, then I can join you in Empower Network. <laughs> and I told her, I said, if it doesn't work, what do you mean if it doesn't work? She said, well, you know, if this doesn't work, then I can join you. It's always good to have a plan B, isn't it? And I responded to her by saying, no, <laughs> having a plan B is setting yourself up for failure. You know, if you go into a business with the mindset that if this fails, I've got a backup plan, well, then you are setting your self-conscious up to believe that it's okay to fail. And you do not want to start any business, any new skill, task, Anything that you try in your life that you really want to be good at and you want to work with that kind of a mindset. You know, my camera is really messing up. This is the third time I try to do this video. I think it needs to be deleted a little bit. So I'm going to have to make this quick. But if you go into your business with the mindset that you can fail, you most certainly will. And I explained that to her. I told her, you know, you have to tell yourself it will work if you want it to work. And she went on to tell me, she said, well, I live in the Philippines and we're born with a plan B. She said, there's always storms, so we always have to get ready for when that storm comes. She said, that's just the way that we think and we've always thought that way. And I just reminded her, I said, well, you know, in that kind of a situation that you know that something is coming and that you're preparing for an emergency. With this is different, you know, you need to have a mindset that it's going to work, that you can do it, and you will succeed. And she did say, she said, I believe, you know, that this will work. I'm very consistent, and, and I work hard, and I believe it will work, but I have to have a plan B because that's just the way it is. <laughs> so, you know, I wished her luck, and she sent me a little... I knew that... You know, when somebody is in a mindset like that, that they've been in their whole life, that just one conversation is not going to change their mind. So that's why I'm glad that I'm in a community of like people that, you know, we're willing to change the way that we think and go against the grain and, and what other people in the world think, you know, of having a safety net in, in case we fail and just be ready for success happen. So with that being said, I just want to remind you that if you go into your business with a positive mindset, don't have a plan B, you know? Don't be expecting that safety net to catch you when you fail. Just know that there is no option for you to fail. You will do it. You can do it. Don't say if it doesn't work. It will work. Just believe in yourself. Change your mindset. Change your way of thinking. Get rid of your plan B and be ready for success. So I hope you found some value in this and if you have any questions or would like to know more about what I do from home, click the link below and I will see you on my next video. Have a great night.